Hey, what's up, guys? Mr. Free Corner coming back to you again today. Hope everybody's doing well and you are taking care of yourselves. Now, before I get into this, guys, I do want to say I am not a financial analyst or advisor. I am simply sharing my thoughts and opinions. So please only take it as that. Now, yes, I know, again, it's been a little while. I have to apologize for uh, my absence, but, you know, things happen. Life gets in the way, guys. So, um, and now I do uh, also uh, want to just really talk about what is happening now. A lot of uh, just a lot of things going on in the in the space that we haven't really seen before. It is kind of odd uh, behavior in this space. Now, um, XRP is really starting to kind of show its true colors, which is a good thing. And uh, I think a lot of people are really having a problem dealing with that. So before I go on into kind of that uh, side of everything, I'm just going to just kind of lightly touch on a couple articles here that uh, have already you know, kind of been talked about by the people. Now, first of all, Ripple XRP sales uh, fell 74% in Q3 amidst mounting FUD. Now, again, a lot of people have already talked about this. I just find this very interesting because... Um, it just really happened right on time, I think. Uh, I personally am with the understanding that nothing, none of this really happens just by accident. Um, I believe this was obviously planned to uh, happen around this time. So uh, I'm, I'm just kind of interested to see how this will affect everything here in the fourth quarter. I, you know, things are actually changing. Uh, if we go on here xrp price keeps rising as bitcoin eth and xlm prices fall what's next so yeah uh going back to the chart here the price of xrp sitting at 29 cents but is is also going in a different direction pretty much than everything else um i do believe we're going to see xrp kind of break away from the pack you know tremendously and uh then then after that uh, we'll probably see the market follow it. Um, and it's been said many times, uh, a lot of the coins that are in existence today are just going to really disappear. And, and you know what? I am absolutely fine with that. Uh, if me personally, I believe if, if it doesn't have a use case, it needs to go away. Um, so again, uh, this is just, you know, very interesting. I'm now I've seen some people come out with charts saying that if, XRP follows the same uh, pattern that it it it, it uh, went it was on in uh, 2017. We could really hit some very high prices, which would be you know somewhere in the hundred two hundred dollar range. Um, you know, to be honest with you, I think that is very possible. Uh, and I honestly, I think it'll it could even um, overshoot anything that we're expecting. Okay. Um, now here xrp up 30 percent on september as bitcoin flatlines ripple sees it going even higher so you know obviously we are we are also seeing bitcoin start to you know flounder here um guys all these people out here talking about what xrp can or cannot do we have to remember this xrp is not what we've seen before OK, it is now starting to uh, turn into what it really is. And we don't know what that is. Right. We don't know how that's going to, uh, uh, you know, affect or, or be shown as uh, as as it relates to price and whatnot. The only thing we know of, the only only thing we've seen affect the crypto market has always been uh, speculation. OK, Bitcoin is a coin that is definitely affected by speculation. XRP has been all the other coins, but XRP is going to be the first coin that does not go up simply due to speculation. It will be also because of its uh, utility. Now, Bitcoin cannot make any claims to that because it is not a useful um, coin. Uh, you know, it's, it's highly centralized in a way of its mining um, it is very possible that some very bad things could happen with Bitcoin. I personally am not 
uh, involved with Bitcoin at all. I, I mean, it could go to a hundred thousand dollars. I don't know. I don't really care to be honest with you. I, I don't, I, the, the, uh, the cons for me outweigh the benefits by a long shot. And, you know, why would I want to get involved with something that is, you know, that's really something that belongs to China. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't see that as a benefit. Now, I'm not trying to FUD Bitcoin by any means at all. I'm just seeing, saying that for me, it is not a, a wise uh, uh, investment. Um, and I personally believe that anybody that does their research and really starts to look at it, uh, I think they would kind of come to the same uh, conclusion. I think a lot of people who are uh, who were involved with Bitcoin are starting to actually come over. I've seen several people on Twitter say that they've sold all their Bitcoin and moved over to XRP. Um, so, hey, you know what? That's not a I personally believe that's not a bad. Uh, that's really not a bad idea. But hey, again, everyone has to make their decisions on their investments. Now, um, moving on with this, uh, the, the the thing that kind of really um uh, I, I don't, I don't want to say upsets me but it, it's it's really kind of confusing when someone can see that uh the the uh the seasons are changing here right xrp is definitely not what all of this fud is saying it is xrp is the most viable in my opinion investment there is in the crypto space that's, you know, my opinion, again, because of where it can go, the potential of where it can go. Now, Bitcoin had its time. Even ETH had its time, and I think it has even a brighter future. But to be honest with you, XRP can do exactly what all of these coins do. Now, I also do believe it will pretty much, uh, its its biggest role will be in facilitating transfers it will always be it'll be the middle uh the middleman in these transfers between uh different countries and their uh digital currencies um from what i've kind of uh, come to realize is that it it really looks like each country is going to have its own sovereign uh digital you know version of fiat and xrp is going to connect all of those. That's kind of what I'm seeing. I'm sure uh, many of you are kind of seeing the same thing or it's, you know, been talked about. But uh, in that case, that would really cause XRT, XRP to be highly utilized. And again, guys, because of where XRP is and what we really don't know uh, it, where it can go and what it is, to be honest with you, we have no idea how high it can go. Uh, all the past, uh, all the TA and the historic or his, uh, uh, the historical information is all based on speculation. We have no history as it relates to uh, utilization or, or rather uh, utility. OK, so guys, just I, I think what we need to do is just hold on to our hats and see what happens here. I think it's, we're going to be highly surprised at what's about to happen. Um, I can I can only say that, uh, you know, <laughs> my my mantra from way back, patience is key here. It is key. Um, we're already seeing some some different movement. With XRP, I personally do believe that the price is still being held down uh, for whatever specific reasons, for you know, by bots. Um, but the the price cannot stay where it is. The, with the economy where it is, with the necessity of uh, averting a major crash and things like that, uh, it would only behoove you know the powers that be to uh, go ahead and put XRP in place. You know, and and as far as the um, uh, regulation situation, you know, it's it's kind of hard to say why they're slowing around. I mean, I have my own theories, but uh, either way, I, I, I think it ultimately doesn't necessarily matter uh, initially for XRP to increase. I, I think XRP could get to 50 to to $100 without 
needing any type of uh, regulation. That's the reason why um, Ripple came up with the whole X current, you know, the multi hop and all that. And now that it's all ODL, um, it just makes it that much easier for institutions who are concerned about the regulatory side of things. Uh, it just makes it easier for them to utilize it without necessarily having to hold it or anything like that. Now, I think uh, a lot of these institutions already know what's going to happen, uh, that XRP is not going to be deemed a security by any means. We already know that. Uh, and um, it, it's, you know, it's not it, it's going to be considered something that uh, will not even affect them um, really in any major way as far as, uh, you know, as, as far as regulatory concerns. Um, so anyway, guys, um, I think the future is definitely bright. I think we're going to, I mean, or at least I hope we are going to see some, some really nice things here in the very near future. Uh, personally, I think it's necessary. I, I, I think there, I think it's going to have to happen to again, avert any major, uh, majorly negative things. Uh, and keep it keep those things from happening here in the in the next uh, several months. So anyway, guys, thank you for joining me today. I hope everyone is doing well. Again, uh, if you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button as well as hit that like button. It definitely you know upvotes the the video and puts it out in front of more people. Also, guys, make sure you hit that post notification button so you know when I post it again. Until next time, this has been Mr. Free Coiner. Take care of yourselves and God bless.